Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groomer. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And this is another tag video. Um, this is your second chance wet shaving challenge video. And before I get into what I'm using, I want to tag Justin, the Red Island Shaver, and I also want to tag my good friend DK from DK Damn Fine Shave. Go ahead and do it, guys. This should be a lot, should be a lot of fun. Now, what am I using today? So you can see by the title, uh, I'm going to be using PAA's CK6 formula. Now, let me explain why this is a second chance for me. I tried this when it first came out, and uh, ignore the controversy Doug has had with his past. Um, a lot of people aren't, aren't big fans of Doug. There's a few things I would say are pretty accurate with what he has done and the mistakes he's made, but I don't think anyone can argue the impact he's having on the wet shaving space right now. He works very hard, he's a very good perfumer, and he makes a good soap, you know, it's not the best soap I've ever had, and that's most of the, that's the reason predominantly why I've not bought any more PAA stuff. The CK6 formula comes at like $26 or something like that, and to me that's very, very expensive for a vegetable-based soap or a vegan soap. I think there are vegan soaps for a similar amount of money, or way, way less money, that perform just as well. Um, Singari's vegan base, I think, is probably marginally better. Uh, Southern Witchcraft's is probably about as good and it's quite a lot cheaper. But I'm not saying that I stopped using it and stopped liking the brand because of Doug, because that isn't the case, you know. I, I use APR stuff and everyone knows what people think of Dan from APR. It's not so much that, it's that I think there's better value vegan products, but I've not used it for a while. I saw a scent very recently, or I tried a scent from a, um, PAA very recently that I absolutely fell in love with. And this, uh, the soap is called Oubliette. Um, it's a very unique, very masculine cologne scent. And um, Doug himself is very, very good at perfuming. That's something I can consistently say he's been good at. Um, the brush I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna be using a scent. And this is my turn and shave. This is a small sense. The, the handle, or I mean, the knot, sorry, looks tiny, but it's not. This is a 26 mil knot. It just has a very low loft. So let's get to loading here. From what I remember, this soap base is very, very easy to overload. So we're just gonna load a bit here and we're gonna get going. Um, so Doug has had a pretty polarizing past. Granted, yes, I'm of the opinion and I've come to this conclusion more recently. I think this hobby is too small for people to dislike each other. I think if we're, if as a hobby, if we're gonna make this style of shaving more popular, everyone kind of needs to put their head together and figure it out and, amongst each other because I don't think any one person can do it alone. And uh, that involves everyone getting on and working as a team. Uh, I am, as a, you know, I work for Calf Shaving Co. If I can help other razor manufacturers, I will. You know, I I consistently talk to the guys from Tatara. I've spoken to other razor manufacturers in the past. And yes, you can construe them as competition, but I don't. I, can, I think about them as people doing this, trying to do the same things we are. And everyone deserves support in this hobby. Even people that you don't agree with, I think you should be able to see the good in people. That's it, let's split the face. <laughs> So that, that's my point, really, when it comes to Doug. He's made some mistakes, and some people don't let him live those down. Where those mistakes were, don't get me wrong, they were bad. You know, he did some silly things. But I think we've all done some very silly things. I mean, if I could take some of the stuff back that I did as a teenager, I would. Um, and I can almost guarantee he'd take the stuff back. He did if he could. But I think everything he's done in the last few years with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements has, it has, he's made amends for that, you know, the, the amount of effort he puts in, the amount of hustle he has, he does very good work now. And yes, 
So the reason why I don't buy it is because I, I do think it's very expensive and I do think it's more expensive. Look, you guys know me. I'm not a stranger to spending a lot on soap. You know, I love Holy Cow's new base and I'm very likely to buy every one of his releases. But this is almost the same price and I, do, I don't think it's as good. Um, is it good though? Yeah, it's very good. Um, you're never really gonna need a soap to perform better than this to get a shave. But uh, if you're looking at value for money, based on performance. Now the reason I bought this is because I love the scent. The performance could be average, and I'd have still bought it because the scent is absolutely lovely. But yeah, it's important. Get on with, you. Get on with each other. If you're an artisan out there, um, and you don't like someone, really think about why you don't like them, because it's probably stupid. Let's hydrate this lather. This base makes a ridiculous lather, if I remember. Very, very voluminous. We can take a hell of a lot of water. Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, it's gonna be a long lather, guys. <laughs> long lather warning. I'm curious to see what my friend DK uses because he doesn't give up on much. Jesus Christ, this stuff just grows. Every single time I've used this face in the past, I have overloaded it. So, <laughs> yeah, we've done it again. That's okay. I'm really dipping the tips, by the way. I'm not just dipping the, like, I'm dipping the brush, basically. Look at that. It's insane. And we'll test the density, actually. We ought to do that. Does this volume appeal to me? Honestly, not really. I, I... I just find it a bit over the top, but that is what some people like, you know? I very much am a big fan of those newer, um, kind of like low structure lathers. That like you can see, lather is just flinging off. <laughs> Let's get the lather from the bottom here. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's tidy this lather up a bit. Kind of uh, do the lines here. Cause it's just gotten just a bit out of hand. <laughs> Oh, it's not ready yet, but we'll uh, cross that bridge when it gets to it. Okay, starting to look a bit better. I'm done with like adding volume to it. So we'll just gonna paint it on. It's, it's, uh, it's not tidy. I mean, look at that. Some people love like lots of peaky leather. I am not that guy, I'm telling you. I want low structure, as low structure as possible. 
if if you can. Uh, I love grooming department for that reason. Just gonna paint water in here. Get the consistency I want, and then we'll uh, get to shaving. So yeah, the moral of the story for me is uh, don't just roll something out. And also, if someone's made mistakes in the past, they've made mistakes in the past. Everyone has made mistakes. If you don't gel with someone's personality, that's fine. But remember, I find that um, if you talk to someone and you actually give that person some time, you'll find redeeming parts of their personality that you do gel with. Man, this stuff is just mental. Like, it's so voluminous. Like I've said, I'm not a huge fan of lava like this, generally. I, I just find it a bit too crazy. But, uh, different strokes for different folks, I guess. See, for me, that lava is still dry. A lot of people will shave with this, but I'm not gonna. Training lather. Flying everywhere, guys. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, what can I do? It's a good thing my wife knows I shave in here, so I should. I actually wonder what's going on. Okay, wow. Still needs water, in my opinion. I'm sorry this is taking so long. Get nerd. Oh dear. Tidy a little bit. A lot of people like a really peaky, voluminous lather. And that's obviously how this was designed. But it's not something I look for particularly. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let me uh, clean up a bit here because I've got bits of lather everywhere. Okay, so my razor of choice today is going to be the polished carved Christopher Bradley razor with the SBB plate and a secondly use Gillette Nasset. I'd be lying to you if I said this wasn't a good stuff, because it is. Does it have all the qualities you'd want in a soap? Certainly. Is it as good as soaps? Are the soaps this price? Honestly, probably not.
Is it one of the best vegan starts? Oh yeah. I would definitely say so. Good for the first pass, really good. Just rinse a bit. That's the end of the I'm not a huge fan of like polish razors like that because I feel guilty when I get them dirty. being honest. <laughs> like in between pass slickness, it's great. It's very good. I mean, I believe the price. He uses some very exotic butters in this. That That's the fact of the price, but are they necessary? No, because you can use something else and get similar results. But uh, take it from, take that for what you will. Will I keep the soap around? Yeah, I would, because I love the scent. I really love the scent. It's very nice. If anyone wants to look it up, it's called Oubliette. Which is a French word. I forgot what for. What happens if we get the test? Just keeps building. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, I think someone's just running a bath upstairs. There's very little I can do, unfortunately. It's a really nice time though. Like I said, never said it wasn't good stuff. It's very expensive. <laughs> For what it is anyway. And that that's my issue, not 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 because it's not good. Okay, let's go cross brain. So, would I buy another one of these? It depends. Because if the scents really speak to me, like this one did, then I would, yeah. Um, if they don't, then no.
No, I won't. Because, but maybe because there are a few certainties. For me, as far as to like kind of quality of performance goes, if I'm grading it kind of on the sub bases I like the most, I don't know if this would even be in my top 10, if I'm honest with you, but. It's very good. I mean, just because it's not in my top 10 doesn't mean it's not good. I mean, that post is going to be excellent, I can tell. Yeah, let's get the loose soap because there's going to be tons of it. Lovely scent. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse straight off. The video's been going a while, so rinse straight off. Get into the post. Clean this brush out first. So, I find synthetic brushes harder to clean out than uh, animal hair brushes. It feels as if it clings onto the hair a bit more. So we're gonna give that a really good, good rinse. It can be quite finicky, in my experience. What do you need to do? Still soap at the bottom of that. Should look like that. Okay, let's get into the post. Um, I have the matching splash. The post shape on this sub is good. Not, you know out of this world or anything, but it's good. My argument really is if uh, if it's as expensive as the rest of the stuff, I expect it to perform like the best stuff. And for me, I don't think it does. I mean, it's still a very good soap. I'm not gonna take that away from it. Cause it's still very good, but post shave on it's very good. Okay, let's use the matching splash. Um, PA splashes are known to last very long. I don't care about that. Uh, if I remember, I've not used this in a long time. Uh, I don't like these splashes very much. So I've been told if you hold it exactly upside down, you should be able to use it as a dropper. Okay, that's bullshit. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> because it doesn't have a restrictor here, which is a problem for me. So I'm just gonna put my finger here, get out what I need. That should do it. It's got alcohol in it. No, I feel about that. No, no not for me. I'm sorry guys, but I fucking hate that. I really, really don't like that deep alcohol burn. It's just not, not appealing to me whatsoever. Not appealing. <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm gonna use a bomb. Uh, I'm gonna use Zingari's bomb. I know the post shave on this isn't gonna be how I want it to be, so. Okay, scent on it though is lovely. And again, that's why I bought it. Okay, let's do a quick recap. 
and uh, I will let you guys go. Face is still burning. I fucking hate it, but yeah. Okay. My second chant soap was... Oh, dear. Jeez. My second chant soap was CK6 by PAA. Is it good? Yes. Is it worth the money? In my opinion, probably not. Um, you can buy a tub of Seville in Excelsior for $18, and it's considerably better than this. I bought it because of the scent. If you're a vegan, however, I would consider it. I would really consider it. Okay. Uh, splash, use the matting splash. Don't like alcohol, so this wasn't my cup of tea. Um, polished, Christopher Bradley, face is burning like fuck. Kingari uh, Man, post shave balm, best balm on the market. Yeah, that's a good shape today, guys. Um, called out, like I said, DK Damn Fine Shave and Justin the Red Island Shaver. It's your turn next, guys. What are you gonna give your second chance? I'm curious. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. If you are seeing this video and this is my first video, I'm currently running a giveaway, a 500 subscriber giveaway. Scroll down a couple of videos ago and you'll see that. Uh, just comment and you'll be entered. Check out the Razor Burn podcast with uh, myself and my good friend Heather from Zingari Man. Uh, we are having some fantastic guests on over these next few weeks, and I would recommend you do not miss that. Face burning is stopped, which is fantastic. It's about his hair. It's not the nicest thing. You guys know I don't like that. But yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Room Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day, and goodbye for now.